We've been asking an interesting question, Apple. Will your Apple Watch do this? And we took a look at a specific application that's available now and runs on smartwatch technology from the Android world called Speech to Clipboard. Settings. We brought up the help menu last time. This time we're bringing up the settings to show you that in its early release now, it already is capable of interpreting these different languages when you speak. And this one's really nice, show notification. When that's checkmarked, what you can do is simply bring down your notifications bar and there it shows up. It shows a speech to text clipboard here. The app's been renamed to speech to clipboard to make it shorter. But it's the same app and you touch the button and you back into the dialogue option again. This is text copied to the clipboard that I can paste later. Right there it is. Simple as that. I'm not trying to sell Android. I'm trying to sell the concept of we got to be real here. If I'm going to spend $350 for something instead of $100, I want it to last a while. And an Android-based watch that interfaces not by Bluetooth directly with one single platform, although it can link by Bluetooth to either the iPhone devices or the Android devices, what it can do is hook up by Wi-Fi directly to any Wi-Fi network. Starbucks, um, McDonald's, um, your library, um, home, office, all of that stuff. Why not be able to do all the things that we're doing with this voice app anywhere independent of a phone? Apple, will your Apple Watch do this? See that folder there? By the way, the guy who designed the app we're talking about, he also did this, the ability to make a folder into which you can put other apps into which I could just tap settings. You notice I didn't have to scroll and go looking. That's efficiency. We'll talk about that app coming up later too. Wireless networks. Look, my Bluetooth has been off this whole time. I have not needed to connect with any phone to be able to do all that clipboard action that you saw. I have Wi-Fi on because I need that at this point in order to do the voice recognition stuff through Google because it uses the Google network to be able to do that. However, because it's Wi-Fi, I can do it anywhere. I can do it from home, I can do it from the office, and I can do it in the field. I could even set up a hotspot on my phone, either kind, and do it Wi-Fi to the phone. So, Innovation, yes. New second generation improvements, yes. Planned obsolescence through software upgrades, yes. And proprietary connection requirement, yes. Um, that's a holdback for me for getting really excited about the first generation Apple Watch, especially when right now on the market, these kind of Android-based watches, which really aren't that much bigger. Look at this now, okay? We're talking battery life, and oh, Wi-Fi might consume a lot of, a lot of your battery. Um, this is about the same size. Actually, the screens are 240 by 240, and they're supposed to be exactly the same. I think I just accidentally turned my 5-megapixel camera on. Oh, camera, yes! Where's the camera in the Apple Watch? Uh, well, we'll see when it comes out, huh? Apple, will your Apple Watch do this? Click. Anyway, I digress. That's a, yet another video. They're about the same size. Tiny bit larger. Good capacity battery. The only thing holding both of these things back from being screamers is battery technology, and that's going to improve for everyone because all companies are trying to improve the batteries. So do you want to buy something that has a requirement to be tethered to your watch no matter what? Do you want to be able to get out of your car and run into Starbucks and grab your coffee by just putting your barcode on your screen and, and purchasing it off the cash register like you do with your phone right now? You want to be able to do that and leave your phone in the car? Just take your watch? I, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to bring up 
Starbucks on your watch inside a Starbucks unless you've got your phone and the guy behind you has got his phone and he's tethered his watch to his phone and so forth all down the line everybody connected carrying both devices I think it's going to be an interesting fad and I think the millions five ten million phone uh, watches I'm sorry Apple watches that will be sold require tethering to the phone are rapidly going to get pretty tiring of having to have the two things with you. Now, fitness, yeah, maybe the link for fitness for those of you that are going to use that. Um, notifications, yeah, if you want to check your arm to see what your email was that just came in instead of your phone. Uh, the Dick Tracy talking to your watch and, and making a phone call, I don't know, maybe if you're out and jogging and you got this thing stuffed away and you don't want it in your armband, those are possibilities. But, you know, you can do all of that right now with a Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi link to either an Apple device or an Android device from a smartwatch that has Wi-Fi connectivity, standard Wi-Fi, will allow all of this to happen. So we ask, Apple, will your Apple Watch be able to do any of this? Question mark. Can't read it? Try again. Pace, Apple, will your Apple Watch be able to do any of this? Good question.